Okay, so the stages of decomposition. Note, this is where it's going to get gross. Uh, there's five main stages of decomposition. Uh, they vary in the amount of days it takes to go through based off of uh, temperature of where the body is found and other environmental factors, but this is the uh, estimated generalities of it. Uh, so the first stage is initial or fresh decay. That is also called autolysis. Uh, then you have putrefaction or bloating. Third is black putrefaction. Fourth is butyric fermentation, and the fifth stage is dry decay or diagenesis. Initial or fresh decay begins immediately after death. It's usually within uh, about four minutes after death that it starts to break down. Uh, you have uh, initial or fresh decay for about zero to four days, depending. Uh, the cadaver appears fresh externally, but internally it is decomposing. Uh, autolysis is the uh, breakdown of cells, so it starts due to the cellular breakdown and the changes in the pH. So the things that you'll see from auto autolysis are the cells are deprived of oxygen, uh, therefore increasing carbon dioxide in the blood. The pH will decrease, so it becomes very acidic. Uh, wastes will accumulate, poisoning the cells. Enzymes will start dissolving the cells from the inside out, causing them to rupture, releasing fluids. Uh, the first observed uh, stages of this is fluid-filled blisters on the skin and skin slippage, where the skin will actually um, start to slip off. So putrefaction or bloating. Uh, this is the destruction of the soft body tissues by bacteria. You will typically see it in the intestines first. The intestines carry the most bacteria in our body, uh, and they will start to break down, and it will give off gases like methane and ammonia, which will cause the body to bloat. Uh, in the picture in the left, you can see the bloating of the stomach, and in the picture in the right, you can see the bloating, the greenish color that it turns, and you can also see the lividity of the body as well. Black putrefaction uh, is the smelliest stage. This is the stage that if a body is going to be found, it's going to be found usually in this stage because this is the stage that everybody can smell. Uh, if you've ever come across something that has died, uh, like a rat or something like that, uh, when you tend to discover it is during this stage. Uh, this is the further decay of proteins and fats it produces odoriferous uh, compounds, so very, very stinky, stinky compounds, like scatol, methyl disulfide, cadaverine, and putrescine. Uh, this is when the body is just a mass of fluids and smells just awful. It's horrific. It's a smell you cannot forget, that is for sure. Butyric fermentation. Uh, this one, it no longer has the uh, very stinky smell. It kind of smells like cheese almost, like a stinky cheese. Uh, this is where the cadaver is starting to dry out. Uh, it has some, uh, some flesh remaining, but not much. Uh, it has that cheesy odor. Uh, and this is where you can see the development of adipose here or grave wax, uh, which is almost like when the body turns to soap. So saponification is the process of a uh, reaction of a base with a fat to form a soap. Uh, and it forms this greasy wax-like substance that is like the top layer of the, the cadaver. Uh, dry decay is the last section. This is where it's almost dry. It's almost skeletonized. Uh, the rate of decay slows greatly. And you may even see mummification. This uh, picture I found in an article from New Zealand. I like the way it showed the stages uh, as it goes through. Um, so you can take a look at it. It's just an interesting way to end it. Thank you, and have a great day.